guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I've got a Walmart haul. Um, just a note, there's probably going to be another haul after this one. Every week is different. This week just so happens to be a week where there's going to be two hauls um, just because I had a limited amount of time today. But anyways, from Walmart, I'm going to start on this side and work my way over. I believe this was like $75 for all of this. Um, I got some blueberries. My son's been asking for them, and I like them in general, so I got the little bit bigger of a pack. Some spring and spinach mix, so it's like spring mix with baby spinach mixed in. Finally, my Walmart has these delectables in. I did check on Chewy.com, and they are completely sold out. So there was only one box of these. If there were more, I would have gotten them all, but I was, I'm really happy to have one of them. My cat's going to be super happy. Sorry if you can hear power tools in the background. My husband's in the garage building something that he needs to make for work. Um, I got some Minute Maid Zero Sugar Pink Lemonade. Some of these Outshine Peach Bars. These are really good if you've never tried them. I've tried all of the Outshine flavors. My favorite so far are pineapple and mango. Um, but I've never tried the peach, so I'm excited about that. They're really, really tasty if you're looking for like a frozen treat that's I wouldn't call it healthy but it's a little bit you know better ingredients than like your typical popsicle I got these Kellogg's fruit snacks in the mixed berry we all eat fruit snack fruit snacks and I pack them also in my husband's lunches I did get three boxes of the Barilla Rotini um, I only had one and we used it so I wanted a couple backups because the one box I did buy reminded me how much I love Rotini. So I did get three of them. I'm going to use one to make a tuna macaroni salad for my husband's lunches. So speaking of that, here's the tuna. I also got these Lysol disinfecting wipe to go packs in the checkout line. They were like a dollar. So I grabbed one for my bag and one for my car. Some sweet peas. They're frozen. I put these in the tuna macaroni salad along with celery, carrots, and onion. I got some Nathan's Cheddar Cheese Beef Franks. These are our favorite hot dogs. And we are going to have a couple warm days. And I mean, warm for us is like 40 <laughs> this time of year. So we're actually going to grill these. And then I'll make some kind of maybe potato salad or pasta salad or something. Um, because I know 40 is really cold to a lot of people. But here, 40 is warm for this time of year. So when we have a day that's 40, we grill. I know that sounds crazy, but anyway, so I got those. I got two boxes of the Jack Link's original beef steaks. These are so good. They are expensive though. They're $6 for six, um, six strips. So pretty much a dollar a strip. I did get two boxes. These are sold out a lot at our Walmart. Um, I might put these on, I think I'm going to put these on auto delivery on Amazon because we, I literally could eat one every day. They're so good. Um, so I got two of those. I got the large, uh, bottle of the Cascade original dishwasher detergent. This is the largest bottle that my Walmart carries. It was like $7. I got one of these natural choice, uh, uncured salami cheddar and crackers for Matt's lunch. Some toothpicks because... I've got a couple with a couple birthdays and holidays and things coming up. I want to make sure we don't have any toothpicks and I like having these for certain finger foods. We're going to have my mom's birthday party here at my house next month. So just wanted to have them and it's something that's easy just to forget to pick up. Um, I noticed this for the first time today. This is for my son. It's the Yoplait Smooth. So there's no chunks in here. And my son will not eat any yogurt with chunks. He physically can't because of a texture issue. Um, so this is strawberry banana and blueberry. And I'm excited because I'm hoping he likes this. Um, and if not, worst case scenario, my husband and I will eat it. So I'm excited about this. I think it was like $6 for a 16 pack. I got Cape Cod sea salt and cracked pepper kettle cooked Cape Cod chips for Matt. And the Tostitos lightly salted for all of us. Here are our hot dog rolls for the hot dogs. They are the Pepperidge Farm Top Sliced Sweet Hawaiian. So it kind of tastes like the King's Hawaiian bread. Plastic spoons. I like to pack plastic spoons when Grady takes the yogurt and Matt takes yogurts because I don't have to worry about them getting thrown out and they're just easy to throw in the, you know, recycling or trash. Great value yogurt pouches. Mixed berry. Some great value Texas toast in the five cheese flavor. Two gallons of water here, and then the Sara Lee um, butter bread, which we all like for toast, and Grady likes his peanut butter sandwiches. But yeah, that's everything I picked up for 
now and then just stay tuned for another haul after this. Hey guys, so this is the second Walmart haul in this video. This video or this haul, these hauls were filmed in the same week but opposite ends of the week. And I think I've mentioned this several times before over the years. Usually when you're seeing a grocery haul, um, you're seeing it usually several days later, unless I mention that it's like the day before or something, but I try to get these done and edited and stuff um, before they go up. But anyways, I have to film on my kitchen table today because the area on my kitchen counter that I usually film these hauls is occupied right now. I've got two crock pots going and I can't move them. Um, I've got a pulled pork going and then a soup going that I'm freezing. But anyways, this is everything from Walmart. Um, part two, this haul was about $90 and I'm going to start on this side and work my way over to the other side. So I got these Go Go Squeeze, um, they are the Gimme 5 pouches. So this one has apple, mango, strawberry, peach, and banana. Uh, Greggy likes to take a fruit pouch to school for a snack sometime. Um, I got these Danimals little shooter smoothies. Um, I usually buy these every two weeks or every week and a half depending. Usually I never um, never run out of them because my son every morning wants one of these. I got the um, Jalapeno Ranch ones version of these last week. They were literally amazing. They were completely sold out. So I did see they had this flavor, sour cream and onion, so I have a feeling they're gonna be really good. So I got these as well for snacking and a pack for my husband's lunches. I got these Great Value Kettle Cooked Lightly Salted, just plain potato chips for max lunches as well or snacking. I need eggs because I used most of our eggs this week for egg muffins. Um, I got more of the yogurt we have been obsessed with, these Yoplait cups. These are eight packs and my husband and I eat literally like one almost every day. So they go pretty quickly. Um, I probably should have bought two of these actually, but I, next week I will. So I got another one of those, strawberry and peach. I got the Blue Diamond Smokehouse Almonds for my husband and I. We like to eat um, almonds at night sometimes for a snack when we're watching movies. I got the Kraft Zesty Italian. This is one of my favorite dressings to make pasta salad. It's also the dressing I use to make my BLT pasta salad, which I'm going to be making soon. So I got this. I got my Coffee Mate sugar-free Italian sweet cream coffee creamer for my coffee. Some Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning packets. Usually I get the Walmart version of this, but they were sold out as well. And I need, um, I use this in a lot of different recipes. I'm actually going to use it in a recipe called Cracked Chicken next week. I got some OxyClean Max Force. Usually I buy the stick that you twist up, like the gel stick, but they were sold out. And I do go through quite a bit of this because of my reselling business. So I had to get that. I got the big pound bag of the Sargento Sharp Cheddar Cheese. I use cheddar cheese in pretty much every recipe that calls for cheese. I will use cheddar because that's really the main cheese that I like. I got two more boxes of these Jack Link original um, beef steak strips. I did put these on our Amazon auto delivery, but for some reason they're not able to auto deliver them for like two weeks. And I've been eating like one of these a day. They're so good. So I got two boxes. They are expensive, $6 per box. I got another box of rotini. I am on a rotini kick lately. This rotini pasta is so good with these sauces, which I'll get to. Um... I got a stovetop chicken stuffing for a recipe. I want to do like a baked chicken and stuffing with roasted potatoes, like sheet pan or uh, one, one pan meal. So I needed that. Two boxes of the rice aroni and the stir fried rice. I like this rice a lot. I got four cans of the Campbell's cream of chicken soup. I needed a couple of them for that cracked chicken recipe. And I use this soup also in my hash brown casserole. So I just got four of them. So I have a good stock. I got these mozzarella cheese and beef salami sticks for Matt's lunches. Some slow cooker barbecue pulled pork seasoning. I love McCormick brand. Um, I just used one of these this morning for the pulled pork or for the Boston um, bot that I have in my crock pot right now. Right now I have a four pound roast in there. 
So I bought this to replace the one that I used up. These two sauces, this brand I'm obsessed with, my friend Janet got me hooked on these. She mentioned them, I don't know, a couple months ago, and I've been loving them ever since I tried them. So this one I've already tried. I love it. The Parmigiano Reggiano one. It's kind of like a creamy tomato, and this is so good with this pasta and frozen peas. I know that sounds weird, but mixed all together, it's really tasty. It's also a good meatless meal if you are into that kind of thing. And then the other one that I really like is the Italian plum tomato. It's just delicious, very fresh tasting. So I got both of those. I got another bag of potatoes. I think I bought one a couple weeks ago, but I blew through them because my neighbor, who's also my friend, has been begging me to make her some loaded twice baked potatoes so I did and I made her a batch and um, brought them over so I used a lot of my potatoes for that because she has a large family so I got these to replace that <clears throat> we do little food trades all the time she's a great baker and I'm a terrible baker and she hates cooking and I love cooking so I'll cook things for her that she likes that I make and she'll bake things for me that I like that she makes so it's kind of a nice trade-off but anyways five pound bag of potatoes, three boxes of my tissues that I love, the Great Value brand, the one with lotion. Highly recommend these at for anybody who, I mean, who doesn't need a tissue once in a while. They're so good. Pringles, individual cups. Uh, I give these to my son, my husband's lunchbox, um, when the original seems to be the only ones my son will eat. I got another bunch of bananas. I have a couple left, but they're getting towards the end of their life. Um, so I got fresh ones for my son. I got some cornbread, um, Pillsbury little muffin thingies. I just thought they'd be easy with like chili or something, um, or maybe goulash. I got some of these flaky layer biscuits. This is a five pack, which is good because my son, my husband, and I will each have, you know, one and a half, and it's just perfect size. Nothing gets wasted. I think that's everything. And again, this was $90. And I'm going to share now my meal plan for the upcoming week. All right, guys. So meal plan for the upcoming week. Um, I'm going to try that recipe that I mentioned called crack chicken. And I'm just going to do some steamed broccoli on the side. Um, I will try and remember to link this recipe from online that I found down below in the, in the description box. If I forget, please remind me. Sometimes I do forget when I'm editing the videos to add all the links. Um, pulled pork, like I said, I'm doing a huge four pound roast. So my plan is to freeze. Um, I'm going to pour, I'm going to take the pork and portion it into three, uh, portions, freeze two, and we'll have one, um, for dinner, uh, veggies of some kind, not sure what yet. And some kind of carb, whether that's rice, pasta, um, potato. All I know right now is pulled pork is going to be one of the, um, entrees. Um, I'm going to do the cheddar Nathan's hot dogs, the beef cheddar dogs on the grill. Um, we are going into a little bit of a heat wave next week, 40s, and I think one day we touch 50, which to us will be like 80 to, you know, anybody else. Um, I'm going to do potato salad. I do a loaded potato salad. I have a whole video on this. I'll try and remember to link this down below as well. And then I'm just going to do a simple cucumber salad. I just do sliced cucumber um, sliced tomato, like cherry tomatoes if I have them, and then I just do balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic, and basil, very easy. I'm going to do goulash. Um, I tend to do goulash in the colder months, so since we're kind of starting to wind down on the coldest months of the years are behind us, I want to make sure I get another batch of this in one last time before, you know, the warm weather hits. So goulash, salad, I might even make like one of those biscuits or cornbread muffins or something on the side. Um, Hawaiian sliders. I did a video on these years and years ago. I've actually been going through my cooking playlist because there are literally dozens and dozens of um, meals and recipes in my cooking playlist that I legit forgot about. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board and make the Hawaiian sliders. I do have to buy the ingredients for it. So this will probably be towards the end of next week. Um, and then I have curly fries already, the Arby's curly fries. We love those. So I'll need to buy the King's Hawaiian um, slider rolls, the thin sliced ham. I'll link that recipe down below as well. Um, and then one night I'm going to do that rotini with that sauce that I talked about with the frozen peas. And I might do some grilled shrimp. I left it blank. 
but I might do some grilled shrimp and then maybe like put the shrimp on top of the pasta. That combo is so good. You have to try that rotini with that sauce and add the frozen peas. They're really good. And then of course I have my freebie night. I have a feeling it'll be something on the grill though. Matt and I are just itching to use the grill with the warmer weather on the way. But anyways, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video on Monday. Bye guys. <music>